Hello, my Gemini dragons. This is your spring equinox reading for March 2021. Obviously, if you're in the southern hemisphere watching this video, this is for your fall. Regardless, it's for March 2021. <laughs> uh, March 20th until June uh, 21st. Okay, guys? So, overall energy. Treasure Island and to the sea. So it's cards number seven and nine. Seven is about sort of challenges and obstacles, um, which is the to the sea. So, hmm. And then nine is about conclusions. So I think things are sort of coming to an and and Treasure Island. So yeah. Hmm. Let's get more information on this actually. Um something coming to an end. So let's see. Um, yeah. I'm just like looking at the cards. Um, so to the sea, it has somebody sitting in a boat and you can sort of see very faintly a uh, face in the sky. So I think that um, perhaps you're reminiscing a little bit about things and this is going to come to an end um, in or something's going to happen with it. Um, as we move closer to summer. So two cards for where my poor Geminis are out of balance. Let's see. Whoa, this came, um, really? Really? Okay, so out of, apparently you guys are really out of balance. You saw those all flip out. We have the hangman. Okay, let's just see what these are. Oh, okay. So the first row, cards one and two are where you're out of balance, okay? And then three and four are how to bring it into balance, okay? So let's just go into um, this. So Hangman, so you're sort of, you're not really moving on from something, right? Right? You're out to see. <laughs> Makes sense, right? This is also um, a card where, so it's not like the hangman, he's not struggling, okay? He's actually quite happily hanging out there. So it could be just that you've sort of gotten comfortable in whatever this reminiscing is that you're doing. You need to just let it go. Because then here we have the nine of swords in reverse. And you can see, um, so it's in reverse so it's almost like you're hanging on to it okay and it, so this hanging out he doesn't look like he's struggling but here this person is actually struggling so i think gemini okay you have your two sides you may think that you're patiently waiting but then your mind is actually still tormenting you over this okay so come on guys and it's funny because this nine which is treasure island and this is a nine, okay? So we're coming to conclusions, okay? It's conclusions. So we're, we're, we're gonna go good, okay? <laughs> you guys are gonna be okay. So then we have the Ace of Pentacles um, in reverse. So it may seem like, um, so this is how to bring balance. So you may feel like um, you've lost an opportunity, but, but look at this. Then you have the Ace of Cups in the upright okay so now this is about love and compassion and creativity okay so something new so you think that something i have a feeling these are your two these are your twins battling out guys and i think that i think everybody has this okay i am i my first five signs i have three gemini okay so um I get it, okay? I am very much Gemini, so I get it, but this is not regards to me. This is for you guys out there. I don't know who else is watching this, but I do know how our little minds work. Big minds, actually. So you think that you lost something. You're afraid to lose something, but look, this is how you bring it into balance. You have to accept that, okay? Let it go. 
okay? Because now you have new love, you have new opportunity coming in, okay? So this is something new, okay? You have to find your hope, you have to find your love. And I think this isn't um, an outward thing. I think this is an inward thing. I do think this is regarding something outward that you've brought inside, and now you need to take care of it inside, okay? Let go of everybody else, okay? Aces, right now it's single, okay? So this has to do with you, okay? These are your twins here. You've got two aces, okay? you got to let one go, and you have to let the other one flourish, okay? We know what that's like, okay? Let's go on. So if we take care of this, if Gemini takes care of this and brings us into balance, what will emerge? What will thrive and grow when Geminis find balance in this situation? So when they balance out their twins in themselves, what will happen, please? They're resorting. Okay, uh, that's too many. Okay, but you know what? I'm gonna take. They all came out. Okay, so we have the hermit. Okay, I actually think this this actually flipped and it sort of landed between these. So the hermit has it's looking away, sort of from the future, not to not live in the present moment. But there's a lantern, so I think that you do need to go within go into self-reflection. I actually think this belongs between these two. Yeah, look at this. So then we have the Ten of Swords. So, but it's in reverse, okay? So your Ten of Swords in reverse is recovery. It's regeneration. So when it's upright, it's actually not so great because you've been stabbed in the back like a lot, okay? So maybe that's the past and maybe now you're recovering from this. Okay, because you flipped it upside down. That's what we want. The swords are going to fall out of your back, right? And we move into a um, seven of wands scenario. Okay, so seven of wands is, um, it's about perseverance. So you're going to keep moving ahead, right? As these start to fall out, you find that inner deep fire that you guys have, right? And that's fantastic. And then you're moving into celebration. Right, you're moving into harmony, right? Um, so then you have something to celebrate, right? So, and whatever that is, it could just be that you're celebrating your newfound sense of self, right? This is great that these all came out. This was supposed to be, these are supposed to be shorter readings. I don't think I'm capable of doing, I could probably go on for hours and do readings. I don't know if you guys want that. If you do, then leave in, in the comments. But, so let's go ahead and pick out an overall advice card for my Gemini Dragons for spring, for March or fall, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, right? Not to leave you guys out, okay? For, okay, there we go. Messages. So... I'm gonna get the book on this. This is a Dreaming in Color. Um, I love this deck. It's a very unique deck. I've had it for many, many years. Um, it's one of those decks that you get because you love and you look at, but you don't really, um, I haven't really dove into it. That's why I'm still using the book because the book is fantastic. So, ready? Um, so this, for the reads I've done so far, this card has actually really clarified this. Some messages, news, especially from afar, Speed, new events, change. Optimism creates new opportunities and challenges. Okay? Happy news and or from loved ones from far away or abroad. Now, far away, maybe it's somebody who is far away or maybe they're energetically far away from you. Maybe it's somebody who you haven't connected with for a while. Maybe it's even from a past soulmate, right? So far away doesn't mean this lifetime, right? So let's keep going. Uh, new information gives ammunition and tools to start new and exciting projects. 
gossip can cause problems if not cautious and taken with a grain of salt. Important for the Geminis. Communication announcements through email, letters, phone calls, and heightened expression. So what I get the feeling is, is that um, I think you're waiting for a message to come in in order to move on from whatever situation is keeping you um, out to sea. Okay, I get this feeling that you're waiting for something to come in. You can't. So what is going to get this moving is you actually finding your treasure island. Okay, so you are on your way to treasure island. Okay, um, but you're the one that has to take the swords out of your back. You have to keep persevering and then you'll have something to celebrate about. Okay, but you can't just sit and wait for something else to happen because it's not going to happen until you happen to it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, my Gemini dragons, have a wonderful spring and I'll see you in the next read. Bye guys.